Hey guys, what is up? It is me again, Nintendo Console Gamer, and today I am back with another commentary for the second day in a row. It must be a record. Um, but either way, um, some of you, or one of you, will be happy to note that this gameplay is sped up in parts and um, to make it shorter, uh, mostly the boring parts. Um, I got a couple stupid deaths at the beginning, and I felt, um, I had, like, the stupidest loadout ever, um, and it was, I believe it was, uh, Widowmaker, HVS-45, um, and it was radiation grenades with bomb bag, and then I also had Widowmaker specialization, think quickness, and then light armor. Which is like, it's like the stupidest loadout I've probably ever uploaded. Um, but somehow I actually managed to do alright with it. Um, the Widowmaker plus Specialization uh, turned about turned out to be two completely wasted points. Because um, I think they only got me two kills throughout the entire game. The rest was with my HVS 45, but I ran out of ammo uh, a while, um, a couple times actually. So I had to pick up a couple of different guns. Or maybe it was just a USP. I'm not sure, but I went up. I I ended up going um, 23 and six. Let's see, there's one of the only kills that that gets me in the entire game. Um, so yeah, it was a pretty good score. I thought it was worthy of uploading to YouTube, and I was just <laughs> I had no ammo, so I was just running up to that guy, I was charging him with the little tablet, but I just got stopped just short. Um, but either way, um, yeah, I actually do have a topic for this commentary, and that is that I'm going to be most likely, um, probably 95% likely, that I'm going to be getting a new capture card, a better capture card, um, that records in full HD quality, um, and um, the quality is just beautiful. It is the, um, the Elgato Game Capture HD, which might not mean a lot to some of you guys, but if I was talking in a to a different community here, they'd probably go, "Yeah, I know that." Um, but it's pretty much renowned as one of the best best quality um, capture cards available. Um, so. Yeah, and I found one for forty dollars off. So, um, also of note, Zeltic is in this gameplay, or Trophy Ghost, or Trophy, whatever you want to call him. But um, I think he was on the other team. But I had a little peace treaty with him, so we didn't kill each other. Um, yeah, but it is a really good quality capture card, and it has several features that um, would be valuable to me, such as a live commentary feature. You can actually plug in a mic to your computer, and um, you can uh, do a live commentary through the Elgato software, and it will sync it up perfectly uh, to the uh, to the actual gameplay, which is really cool, and it would make uh, recording uh, live commentary is even easier uh, than they already are because as it is they require a little bit of setup um, but then another thing is that um, oh look at this fail right here I don't have extended melee or improved melee on so I'm like <laughs> I'm trying to get this guy and then I finally cut him in the side and I was like oh, okay whatever um, but it also it also doesn't you don't press a button to record with it it's always recording um so you can't leave it's always recording as long as the computer is on and the software is open so you can't leave it open for too long or else it'll fill up your hard drive but um it's really good because while you are in a recording session you don't have to stop and start every game um, but you can go into the elgato software afterwards and cherry pick um and you can actually pick out what uh, what clips you want, or what um, you know you can, um, or what gameplay, what matches you want, um, that sort of thing. So, and then you can upload them directly to YouTube from there, which would be very useful with the live commentary feature. So, um, for any of you who don't really know, like what the quality looks like or anything, or how it would look like for Conduit 2 or the Conduit um, Hatred, uh, or on YouTube, uh, Hatred, Hate, Hatredi, 
hatred with a di on the end um he uploads uh the conduit um almost every day now um or he has for a little bit but he kind of goes through phases but um, he does it with the Elgato, and so his quality, that's what my videos are going to look like, um, assuming I buy this. Um, so it's extremely good quality. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, it's also not very much bigger than my eye grabber, which is kind of surprising because um, it is a huge bump up in quality. And uh, so as a result of this, um, my videos are going to look a lot better. It's going to make it a lot easier to do uh, long recording sessions. Um, also with live commentary, like Road to 60 will become several times easier uh, for me to make. I know I haven't been doing that recently, but I really need to start back doing it. And I think this will help me. Uh, it'll make it easier to uh, get back into it. Because as it is, it's a little bit tedious. I have to reset up the live commentary uh, in between games, which is a little bit difficult at times. Um, so, yeah, overall, it's going to make my videos a lot better, and it'll probably be a lot more fun for me to make videos. It'll Oh, and another thing, um, it'll let me uh, actually play in full 1080p HD. Um, be, uh, with the Wii U's upscaling because it goes over HDMI, uh, my eye grabber goes over AV, which is the uh, the red, the red, yellow, and white <laughs> cables, and that you can only go up to 480i with those. So that's all you can play in. So I'm playing in uh, subpar, you know, standard definition at the moment, but I'll be able to play in 1080p, which is a huge plus for me. But that was the gameplay. Final score was. 23 and 6. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and hope you're looking forward to the future, but I will see you guys next time.